I have just returned from the year 2525 by traveling through this wormhole in space. And I have found out that in the year 2525, everybody uses Zorin OS Linux operating systems. Okay, I'm just kidding. For this screencast on Total OS today, I will be doing a full review of Zorin OS 4 Core Linux operating system minus the installation process. Uh, the installation process for much of these systems is pretty much easy, straightforward, even for a Windows user. So I will be taking a look at the Zorin OS 4 Core, but not at the installation process. So let's begin. What we have here is a default desktop with the default wallpaper. I have done a few modifications to this. What I've done here is to move the panel bar to the top from the bottom. To the right I have the battery meter. I had to install this little widget here because the default battery icon or the battery meter doesn't work. It's stuck at laptop battery estimating. Even after downloading all the updates and rebooting it's still there. Now to be fair to the Zorin team, this is a common problem I have run with Linux OS's. Um, I'm not sure why. I'm, I'm assuming it's a bug. I'm sure they'll, they'll get it fixed sometime uh, shortly in the future. It's no big deal. This battery icon here that I have installed, this widget, is actually a little, a little bit better for me. But just to let you know, at least for me on my HP laptop, the default battery meter does not work. Okay, let's get started. Let's go to the Zorin OS website. And just to let you know, Google Chrome is installed by default. And by the way, I love these uh, preview panes similar to Windows 7. So let me click, click Google Chrome. This is the Zorin OS website. Um, there are several versions of Zorin OS. There is the core version, which I am using now. There are premium versions, such as the gaming, multimedia, and ultimate versions. These are fairly large files that need to be uh, burned, downloaded and burned on a DVD and not a CD, so be aware of that. All the information you need on Zorin is right here, including frequently asked questions, help, videos, pictures, so on and so forth. And once again, Google Chrome is installed by default. All right, let's get out of that. Let's take a look at the panel bar from right to left. To the right is the clock, mail, volume, battery icon, screencaster icon, the wireless, which is X'd out because I just shut it off. I didn't need it for this uh, screencast the Screenlets Widget Manager, the Power, and of course my chat accounts. Here we have the Rhythmbox icon. Rhythmbox is installed by default and yes, my music played out of the box. I didn't have to download any extra codecs. The File Manager here in the middle, Google Chrome, and then to the left the Z Start button, similar, similar to the Start button for Windows. Now, the default desktop environment for Zorin is similar to what you would see in Windows 7. The Zorin team has done a very good job in creating an operating system which would be very, very easy to use whether you're a Linux or a Windows user. Primarily, I think, for a Windows user, if you are transferring, migrating, or just want to try a Linux operating system, and really not be too worried or too scared to try it. This does resemble, as you see here, Windows 7. Now keep in mind that obviously Windows is not Linux and vice versa. So let's take a look and see what we have here. To the top we have the search bar, again similar to Windows. To the bottom we have your shortcuts, browse internet, email, accessories, games, graphics, internet, Office, Sound and Video, System Tools, Wine, the Ubuntu Software Center, uh, Zorn of course is based on Ubuntu, Places and System. To the right, 
Here we have power, which I don't want to shut the computer down. We have logout and auxiliary to add any shortcuts that you want to. All right, to the bottom, I click the back button. Again, similar to Windows. Okay, I won't go through all of these, but of course with these you have submenus. Here's your accessories uh, submenu, the gaming submenu, graphics, you know, office, sound and video, so on and so forth. Um, I do want to take a look at the internet menu submenu. Let's take a look at the internet browser manager. Type my password. All right, this is another exclusive, I believe, uh, or piece of software that is unique to Zorin, the Internet Browser Manager. This allows you to choose to install or uninstall between four web browsers. You have Firefox, Google Chrome, Opera, and Midori. As I said, Google Chrome is installed by default. I also installed Firefox, but if I wanted to install Opera, I could, or Midori. Midoriya, I believe, is a web browser that is exclusive to Linux. So here you have it. Here you have another piece of software. Again, very easy to use whether you are using Windows or Linux. Right now I like this the way it is between Firefox and Google Chrome, so I will just leave it at that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Leave it the way it is and close this box. All right, let's go back. To the right we have Help. Man package manager, control center, connect to, network, computer, recent items, search, videos, music, pictures, documents, and the home folder. Again, this is similar to what a Windows operating system or Windows 7 would look like. Let's take a look at the control center. Alright, here you have it divided in groups. Personal, and you can see to the right it highlights it. Internet, network, hardware, system, other, common tasks, preferred applications. And uh, as you see here, my preferred web browser, my setting is Google Chrome. So let me close this. Uh, I do want to take a look at the personal submenu, control setting. Let's take a look at the exclusive Zorin look changer. To me, this is a super cool feature that I found out about in Zorin OS 3. What this does, with the click of a button, button, it allows you to change the way your desktop environment looks from either Windows 7, Linux Genome, Windows XP. In the premium versions, you have a couple extra uh, options for the look changer, such as, I believe, Mac OS and Windows 2000. For me right now, I will leave it at the default setting, which is Windows 7. I will click close. Alright, let me get out of this. As I said before, Rhythmbox is installed by default. My music played out of the box. I did not have to search and or install any extra codecs. Let me right click here on the desktop. Again, similar to Windows. Oh, let's go to change desktop background. Again, this will give me a choice of pictures for the background. Oh, let's see, let's see. Let's just, just go with this one here at the bottom left. Change that. And there you have it. I have just changed my wallpaper. wallpaper. Again, simple to use, just like a Windows operating system. Let's go back to the Start menu here. Oh, let's take a look at the Ubuntu Software Center. Again, Zorin is based on Ubuntu. Okay, the Ubuntu Software Center. Now what this does here, this is basically a shortcut to the Synaptic Package Manager. Now what this does, this allows me to get or install or look at my currently installed software. At the top right, I have a search bar. Let's say, let me just click install software first. And this basically gives me a list of what is installed currently 
in my HP computer. If I click say Bluetooth to the right here I can just click remove like install or uninstall in Windows but I can click remove if I wanted to to remove this piece of software but, but I'll keep it for now. Let me go to the top left and click get software. Let me go to the search bar. Let's see. Let's say I wanted to install, I don't know, Banshee. Banshee is another media player for Linux and as you can see here if I highlighted click Banshee to the right I can choose to install it. It's that simple. You don't have to be a wizard if you are currently using Windows. This is very easy to use. Similar to again similar to the install uninstall feature in Windows 7. Let me exit out of this by clicking the X. Okay there's a couple more things I want to say. Zorin OS 4 is terrific. It is really my number one choice for Windows migrations. Uh, I like Linux Mint also. I suppose if I wanted to be fair it would be a tie but because Zorin has the exclusive look changer Zorin OS is tops on my list for Windows users or really even for Linux users. Um, I suppose if you are a Linux geek you may want to try or install something that's different than this. That's perfectly understandable. I currently dual boot. I like to keep it simple. I like to keep it uh, easy and not waste a lot of time. Zorin OS 4 core for me right now is perfect. And the last thing I wanted to say, Zorin OS 4 core is the first Linux operating system I have tried that can actually play my camcorders HD videos. Let me say it again, Zorin OS is the first Linux operating system that can play my HD videos. And do you want to know how Zorin did it? Well, you know what? So would I, because I don't have a freaking clue. All I can say to the Zorin OS team, bravo, and thank you. Thank you for creating a really awesome piece of technology. Well, that's it. There you have it. That's my review for Zorin OS Core 4. Check it out. This is the free versions. The uh, premium versions, uh, there is a small charge for it. Uh, they are well worth it. I uh, had the uh, multimedia version installed in my HP laptop. I deleted it to install Zorin OS 4 Core. It works terrific. The only bug, again, is a minor bug with the battery meter. Keep saying laptop battery estimating. Other than that, Zorin OS 4 Core, for me anyway, has been flawless. Well, that's it. I'm going to return back to the year 2525 and see how Zorin OS 4 Core is doing in the future. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And I will catch you, as always, sometime in the future. Bye.